There are a lot of things you can do with an ePortfolio, and the way to get started is to go to macaulay.cuny.edu slash ePortfolios. Once you're there, you'll notice a lot of information and instructions in the tabs on the top of the screen, and I do recommend you read all of those. But if you're ready to just get started, click Build Your ePortfolio Now, and you'll go to the sign-up screen. On the sign-up screen, you'll first need to choose a username. This should be something you'll remember because you're going to need to use it to sign in to your ePortfolio in the future, and you won't be able to change it as time goes by. Next, you enter an email address. This can be any email address. It doesn't have to be your official CUNY or Macaulay address, but it does need to be one that you have easy access to, because if you lose or forget your password, this is the email address we'll use to send you a replacement. The next step is to enter the answer to the security question. The security question is designed to make sure that spam bots or unauthorized users don't have access to our system. You can get the answer to this question from your ITF or by emailing me, the Director of Technology and Learning. Then it's time to start filling in your profile information. The only field that's required is your full name. Other than that, you can fill in your campus, your choice of major or career goals. You can even choose a picture to serve as your profile. If you like, this can be a cartoon image, a photograph, just about anything that seems to represent you. Of course, you can change that image or any of your profile information later on. And now it's time to decide whether you want a full ePortfolio or just a username. Probably best to start with the ePortfolio and then click Next. You have an important choice here, the name of your ePortfolio and the title of your ePortfolio. Now the name is going to be included in the URL, the address that people will use to reach your ePortfolio in the future. So make sure that's something you're going to want to stick to. You can't change it later on. The title can be as creative, as interesting as you want it to be, and you will have a chance to change that. You will also have a chance to change the next setting, which is whether you want your ePortfolio to be searchable, indexed by search engines, or not. You can stay private, or you can be public. And that's about it. Now you've got a username and a password, you're ready to log in. You might want to copy and paste that password, but you will have it in an email in any case. <laughs>